In this video, I will explain how to calculate a derivative using the definition of a derivative. You may have seen my last example video, which I use this equation. f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0, f of x plus h minus f of x over h. However, in this video, I'm going to be showing a new formula. f prime of x is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a over x minus a. Both these formulas will give you the same answer. Alright, so our first example. So we're going to make a function f of x is equal to 5x plus 6. So we're going to take the derivative of this function. So f prime of x is equal to the limit as x approaches a and now f of x minus f of a over x minus a. So now, as in the last video, we're going to keep the limit on the left-hand side, as always. And so f of x, we're going to write out our function, 5x plus 6. And now we're going to subtract f of a, which we just sub in a every time there's an x in f of x. And all of that is over x minus a. Now, as you can see, those two 6s cancel out, so we don't have to worry about them anymore. Now we're left with the limit as x approaches a of 5x minus 5a, which we can factor. As you can see, x minus a is a factor on both the top and the bottom of the fraction. So we can cancel them out and we're left with the derivative is just 5. Okay, so here's a bit of a harder example. So f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 3. Now to take the derivative of this, we're going to say f prime of x is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a all over x minus a. So on the next line we write out the limit again the limit as x approaches a we're gonna write out our function f of x so x squared plus 2x plus 3 and we're gonna subtract f of a which we just sub in a everywhere there's an x in the function and all of this is going to be over x minus a. So now we're left with the limit as x approaches a. We can cancel out the two 3's, so n factor, so it's going to be x times x plus 2 minus a times a plus 2 over x minus a. So now we can factor this even further. It's the limit as x approaches a, and we're going to say x minus a times x plus a plus 2 all over x minus a. So we can cancel out the x minus a terms and now we're left with the limit as x approaches a. We're going to sub in a everywhere there's an x as we do with limits to get 2a plus 2. And since a represents the value of the specific x coordinate that we're looking for we're going to sub back in x to keep it general. But if we want to solve for the slope of the tangent at a specific point we'd sub in the x coordinate of that point in for a. So for example if our x coordinate of the point was 3 we would sub in 3 for a and we would get 8. Alright so this is the final example that I'm going to show you guys today. We're going to take a look at the function f of x is equal to 2x over x plus 1. So to find the derivative we're going to say that f prime of x is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f of x so 2x over x plus 1 minus f of a which is 2a over a plus 1 and all of this is over x minus a. So on the next line we're going to continue with the limit as x approaches a to stay consistent and we're going to look for a common denominator. So we're going to multiply 2x by a plus 1 we're going to subtract 2a multiplied by x plus 1 and now that's all over x plus 1 multiplied by a plus 1 and this whole fraction is over x minus a. So now we're still continuing the limit as x approaches a and we're going to expand the terms to see if we can collect them and simplify. So 2ax plus 2x minus 2ax minus 2a and that's over x plus 1 multiplied by a plus 1 and all of that is over x minus a. So now 
we can cancel out these terms, the two ax terms, which leaves it a bit simpler. So it's still the limit as x approaches a. And now we can factor out the two, so x minus a. And now that's still over x plus one, multiplied by a plus one, and we can multiply over one over x minus a, which is the same as dividing by x minus a. Now those terms cancel out, so now we can evaluate our limit. So everywhere where there's an x, we're going to sub in an a, and so that gives us 2 over a plus 1 squared, which, since we're going to keep it general, we're going to sub x back in for a, which is 2 over x plus 1 squared. But, the same as before, if we had a specific value, we would sub it in for a rather than x. So I hope that this video helped you to understand how to find the derivative of a function using the definition of a derivative. If you're still confused, you might want to check out my other two videos. One explaining the definition of a derivative using the limit as h approaches zero and why this is, and the other some examples of how to use this method. Both of these methods are interchangeable and they do have their advantages in some cases, but you can typically stick with whichever one makes the most sense to you. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments.